Turned down for what? Yeah, Lovers and Friends. You've had many, many just classic records, man. Where did Little John start? What was the start of Little John? Oh, uh, well, I started as a DJ in Atlanta. I was doing clubs in Atlanta. I was on the radio in Atlanta. And I wasn't trying to be an artist, you know. Uh, so when I was at So So Def, um, at Jermaine Dupri's a and I was doing all of these albums over there. To, well, I was doing the Bass All-Stars album. Mm -hmm. So my first single is called Who You With, Lil John Eastside Boys. Lil John Eastside Boys came about because myself, I was the a r for Player Poncho. Player Poncho was on the Bass All-Stars album. Mm -hmm. He had a song, What's Up, What's Up? And he ended up, it did so well, he ended up getting signed to So So Death. So we all was always together, myself, Player Poncho, and then the East Side Boys lived in Decatur. They hung out with Player Poncho. Those were his friends. So we all were together, and that's how we initially met. And I remember one time, me and the East Side Boys, uh, we were all hanging out. We were in this club. I think we were in the 559. Um, and so Atlanta history, 559 was the number one hood club in Atlanta in the 90s. Um, so we were in this club, and then we, it was like 30, 40 deep. We used, to, we used to always roll 30, 40 people, right? So we, we started chanting this chant. We were just like, who you with? Who you with? Get crunk. Who you with? And the whole club started chanting what we were chanting. So I went, looked at Big Sam. I was like, man, we need to make a record with this shit. So I knew this guy named Carlos Glover, who had a label, um, and with my man Cool Ace. So I hit Carlos, like, yo, we want to make this fucking, you know what I mean, song. Like, hook us up. So we, he put us in the studio, and me and my boy Paul Lewis, um, I was producing with, we did the beat and did the song, and the song became the... Song of Freaknik, like Freaknik 1996, mm -hmm. it became the anthem of Freaknik, and it blew up in the South. And after the song blew up, they were like, you know, you got to do an album. So we, were like, I was like, what the fuck? They're like, I don't try to do this shit for real. We're just making some shit to get people uh, crunk in the club. Right. So... We uh, went in the studio and worked on the album. Shout out to DJ Toomp. DJ Toomp did a bunch of the songs on the album. I did some of the songs on the album. But it was just me and Toomp, and it started. So it was started with one record called Who You With, and that song broke from the 559. Um, I remember taking it to Greg Street. Greg Street was on the radio at the time. Me and Greg was good friends because when I was at So So Def, he was in Dallas. And I used to send him like all of the bootlegs of JD shit and just send him all the uh, so so deaf shit. And now he was in Atlanta. So I took it to him because I knew he was going to be like, oh man, yeah, yeah I'm going to blow this up. I took it to him. He laughed at me. He laughed at me like, man, what the fuck is this? Ha <laughs> ha, this, yeah, this track. And I was like, huh? Like, this is crazy because I knew, I knew it was coming from the club. It was a club record. So, a lot of things about Lil John Eastside Boys, people didn't get until they saw him in a nightclub. So mm -hmm. Greg didn't get it. He laughed at me. But that for me, that was motivation to make it even more of a hit. And so I took it to the 559, and the DJ at the 559 was like, I love this shit. I'm going to play this shit five times a day. And like I said, this is the number one hood club in Atlanta where everything broke from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So he literally played it five times a day, and it became a hit. And like I said, it went on to become the anthem for Freaknik. So that's how it started. Uh, and what did Greg say? And people, just in case you don't know who Greg Street is, Greg is a legendary DJ yes. in the South. He would be what I consider the equivalent of Funkmaster Flex in the Northeast. Every region has right. that one DJ who is the, the needle mover. And Greg Street is that person to this day. Right. Uh, he's a very influential radio DJ, many awards, uh, just just an icon in radio. So when did you go back to Greg and what did he say? I don't even remember ever going back to him. <laughs> uh, and I didn't need to because what I learned from that situation is that when the song becomes hot in the clubs, the streets dictate to radio and it don't matter what the, what I've been told by PD so many times, uh, 
I don't know this. I don't know. Even with turn down for what radio was like, eh. but it was so fucking hot. They had to play it. That's what happened with who you with. It got so hot in the streets of Atlanta. And then of course, like I said, with it being the anthem for Freakney, it exploded even more because people taking that back to their cities. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and it just got so big that the radio had to play it. And it's a classic Atlanta song. Still to now, now, now you're telling me one of the biggest records of that year turned down for what? Radio told you no? Well, radio didn't. You have to understand it's an unconventional song um, because it's no verses. It's only the hook. Yeah, but that's EDM. You know? it's EDM. Yeah, but even at that time, it was no songs on the radio with just the hook. Mm. It was an unconventional radio record, but it was so strong in the streets, in the nightclubs, that radio had to play it. And that, you know, went on to be one of my biggest records of my career. I think we're at a billion YouTube plays, over a how billion did, YouTube. How did you wind up getting on that record? Because I always want to ask you that. You know, of course it's Snake, but that record just came out of nowhere. Like, it, 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 I didn't hear it, and then I, I started hearing it, then I heard it too much. Did, did, you know, it was like a wave. <laughs> how, did you even, how did you even catch that one? Well, Snake has sent me the beat. Uh, about four months before I recorded it, I was on the road and I was like, for me, I had to get out of like art, get out of DJ mode to become, mm -hmm. to be in artist mode and so on and so forth. I have to, people don't really understand that, but you, you kind of position your brain to be just thinking about stuff in a certain kind of way. So when I came off the road, I was like, okay, let me go on in the studio. So I pulled it up and, um, it was, the beat was dope, but he had a Red Man sample in it, and he wanted me to reset with Red Man sample. And Red Man, the sample said, it's the countdown, bang the underground. And I'm like, nah, that ain't it. I was like, send me the instrumental, just just watch. So he sent me the instrumental, and I, as soon as I go in, and first thing that popped into my head is, you know, the beat drop turned out for what? Like, fucking let's get crazy. And so that pretty much came immediately, but then the fire up that loud, another round of shots took me longer to write because I had to set up why you're saying turned out for what. So figuring that part out took the longest and it's crazy because don't nobody know what the fuck I'm saying right there. <laughs> so, so, so that's, so Fat Man Scoop, Crookly Clan, Fat Man Scoop, Crookly Clan, people think I say walk the plank. People think I say it's the jam. People think I say it's the jam. To this day, I didn't know what the fuck you were saying. So what did you say exactly? Because it sounded like mine, the time, and everybody was. I don't know what you were saying. So what were you saying? Fire up that loud, another round of shots. Fire so up that loud, another round of shots. And I said, I tried to make the lyrics a little more ghetto because it was a, it was a EDM kind of track. So that's why I say fire up that loud. I could have said, you know, light up the weed. But, you know, in the hood, hood, hood terminology, weed is loud. Mm -hmm. So fire up that loud. Nigga, like, fire up that loud. Let's get another round of shots. We ain't turning down. Turn down for what? Right. So, that, you know, you get it now. But I guess it was just people just like the turn down for what part. And, yes, it became played a lot overly excessive because it's a DJ go-to record. Right. No matter what kind of crowd you in, it's going to get the motherfuckers moving. So, and yes. interesting story about the song, that song broke from myself and my team sending, out, sending it out to DJs. Snake didn't even want me to send it out. He didn't get it at first, but I'm like, no, I've had a couple of these before. Trust me. Follow my fucking lead. So, you know, shout out to Sujit Scam Artist. Sujit, I sent it out to DJs. Sujit sent it out to DJs. And the open format DJs, they love the fucking record and bang that motherfucker every time they was out DJing. And, you know, so we got labels interested in 
I got the deal for the song too. The deal we signed the record to Columbia. I took it to you, um, Interscope first. Then we got Columbia involved, and that was all my doing as well. Like I said, me and my team, and we signed the record to Columbia, and here we are, a billion streams later. A billion, and, sorry, a billion YouTube plays later. Well, a billion YouTubes is damn. It's the same thing. It, it must be. <laughs> it must be a billion. It's got to be a billion on on Spotify or whatever. The the funny thing about it is that you made the record and you broke the record and you signed the record. So that, that that's crazy. And another thing about it is you have three records that are absolute go-tos. You've got Turn Down For What, you've got Get Low, and you've got Yeah. Now, I heard- You got song, another one. Huh? Which one? You got, you uh, on the West Coast, you got um, Too Short uh, Below the Whistle. Yeah, Blow the Whistle, Blow the Whistle. I forgot about that. Blow the whistle. You got four. Yeah. You got four. Absolutely. That's a go to. That, West yeah, Coast. That's a that's a real good that's a real good one. Um <laughs> I I am I have I have two. I have Be Faithful and I have It Takes Cool with myself and DJ Cool. Yeah, I heard yeah, a too. similar story with Yeah. Was that was that story true where you did the record and then you leaked it on your on, on your own and blew the record up yourself? Batman Scoop